Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a little comedy tip for you kids at home just beginning. Get yourself a giant tomato, and it's laughs aplenty. We had a giant tomato here last night as well, didn't we? Yes, we out? did. Two. Laughs aplenty. <laughs> My uh, first guest, what was that, tomato? What did you say, Will? Tomate grande. Tomate grande. Say that? Uh, my first guest tonight was with us on our very first many years ago, and we're glad that he hasn't held that against us. He is back tonight, a very funny and talented person. His latest motion picture entitled Ghostbusters, I believe, opens soon, if it's not open Friday. already. Friday. <laughs> Please welcome Bill Murray. How about this weather we've been having here, huh? How about this weather? You know, I saw uh, Ghostbusters a couple of weeks ago. You're terrific in it. You're very, very funny. This is the greatest show on television. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now, you know, when you, when you were here a couple of years ago, over two and a half years ago, you, you had a salt condition. You remember you came on, you said you had a salt I imbalance. I had a chemical imbalance, a yeah. salt imbalance, but I moved to Florida and just by swimming daily, regular maintenance in a salt pool that I had down there, I can go to 10 or 11 days without any kind of treatment at all. That's I feel great. just great. It's four days, I feel fabulous. That's great. <laughs> Dave, I know is you're... this a rare disorder? I mean, is this the kind of thing that's sweeping the country, or were you just uh, singled out for some unknown reason and stricken? I ate a lot of cafeteria food as a kid. Well, there you go. And uh, yeah. something in the cafeteria food did it to me. <laughs> but, but the only thing that's important now is you're Oh, I better. feel so good. That's good. I got so many people to thank. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you want to thank them? Or no, no, you're on oh, late. Okay. They're all asleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got some stuff for you, though, Dave. I'm so excited about G Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. my new film from Columbia Pictures. And I know you go for this stuff, and I got some, some junk for you, and I know you like this kind of thing. I've never been in a movie where I got any of this stuff. Ghostbusters napkins, Dave. Lift your spirits with Ghostbusters. Let's see. There stuff you go. Like this. Here's a button. Here's a couple of buttons for you. Go nuts with those. But here, this is when you really make it. I mean, I've made a couple movies. But I have never been a part of something where you received a fly swatter with the name of the movie on it. Yeah, I, yeah. People say, what's it like being on top? And I just say... <laughs> what are you... The Academy members come springtime, won't <laughs> right. they? Don't forget, Yes, folks. sir. Now, that's exciting. Now, uh, do you want to you tell the folks what the movie is about? No, um, yeah, well, sure, it's about, uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd and, uh, Harold Ramis wrote this script, uh, and Sigourney Weaver is in it, and Rick Moranis, and Bill Atherton, local guy, and, uh, it's, uh, it's just the funniest damn bunch of fun you've ever seen in your life. I mean, that's really all there is to it. It's about a guy who goes into a temple of doom and finds a lot of comedy in there. N no, I'm just kidding. It's, um... Uh, it's about, uh, three guys from, you know, just New Yorkers, like ourselves. How many of you people from New York? Can we hear from you? How many, how many of you people from out of town? Can we hear from you folks? What do you say we locals beat up on the hillbillies, huh? <laughs> That's old stuff, I'm sorry. But it's, um, it's just a joke. It's just a funny movie. We shot it in New York and held up a lot of traffic mm -hmm. for... Uh, how long did it take to film this? Uh, it took six, four months or so. Four months. A lot of, a lot of excitement and a lot of special effects that are very impressive. There's a lot of special effects. Yeah, it's a good blend of, of uh, special effects and comedy, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, I think so. Getting us all awake in the morning was yeah. a special effect. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's the best piece of work I've done since uh, Kane Mutiny. <laughs> I'm very excited. You want to you wanna take a look at a little bit of this clip? We have a clip. Let's get it now, over. Now, before we bring it up, I, if you don't mention it, I'll just go ahead and announce here that th this clip was the source of red hot, I'm sorry, white hot controversy <laughs> moments ago. All right? That's right. Tell them the clip, That's and then right. we'll dredge up this ugliness. Well, there's a clip, and, uh, oh, okay, we'll dredge it up. 
All right, well, this is a clip. This is uh, in the movie. I, uh, I end up, this is a good movie for me because I get the girl. It's great. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's Sigourney Weaver. I had to go to like a physical trainer, the guy that worked with uh, Chris, what's his name, on Superman, to get in shape to work with Sigourney. She's a, she's, a, she's a tower of strength. But I get the girl in this one. And in this movie, we, we fight paranormals and spooks in this uh -huh. movie. And uh, in this movie, she's the girl I'm sort of trying all my best right. stuff on and her house is the center of all the paranormal activity okay so I've, i'm going to her house for our first date and something has happened to her since all right uh, a few minutes from the uh, motion picture uh, ghostbusters opening tomorrow all across uh, no no next friday a week from 8th. tomorrow i didn't get your name i'm zoo i'm the gatekeeper oh what are we doing today zoo Prepare for the coming of Gozer. Gozer, huh? The Destructor. Are we still going out? You know, you could pick up. Is this a trick question? I guess the roses worked, huh? Take me now, sub-creature. We never talk anymore. <laughs> I make a rule never to get involved with possessed people. Actually, it's more of a guideline than a rule. Okay. We have to do a commercial, okay. but when, when we come back, we'll talk about this white-hot controversy okay. or uh, whatever we can get to. We'll be back with uh, Bill Murray, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bill Murray is here. Now, we saw uh, a couple of minutes from your film, and uh, tell, tell the folks what the problem was. That you, I understand you were on a, on a phone call, a heated argument with an NBC attorney. Yeah, yeah, a guy from the Standards and Practices. There's a great joke that happens right after the What's clip. What's the joke? Just See, it's funnier the than the clip. I want you to know. Well, the joke is that the girl says, uh, uh, I want, I want, uh, what do you think about being And I say, uh, it's, uh, it's too crowded in there. It seems like there's at least two people in there already. Yeah. Uh, Probably wouldn't be that good because she's obviously possessed, possessed by other, by other sure, people, yeah. and so uh, we just thought that would. So we had a disagreement about it on the thing, and that we can't say it on the show tonight, and that's we just wanted you to know that. But uh, it, that's why TV is free and movies cost five bucks. Yeah, you know, that's but, right. Uh, so, so now they, they they took it out of the film. Yeah. That joke out of the film, although it's a very funny clip even without that joke. But that's what the whole little scene is building to is that one line. Yeah. But now you saying it here tonight. Will this stay in or will this be removed? I don't know. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just repeat it in case so they'll have to take it out twice. Oh, yeah. okay. So the woman is possessed, and she says, I want, I want you... I want you... You say, uh, it's kind of yeah. kind of crowded in there as I it is. I say, well, uh, it sounds like there's at least two people in there already. It yeah. might get a little crowded. Okay, you know? there you go. So... Uh, now... Uh, now, wait a second. This is not to leave this room, though, okay? <laughs> Uh, if you have any trouble with any of this, we have the address for the, uh, the affiliate in New Orleans, uh, 520 Royal Street. They'll be happy to take care of your questions. But tell me about this trouble I read in the newspapers here about uh, you and Aykroyd being nasty and surly. And, you know, he was supposed to be here, and he just took a hike. He never showed. Well, you know, to me, coming on this show isn't like work. It isn't like anything like family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Your family. And... I just think that anything that they print in the press is not, you know, I don't buy it because you know what we have. Sure. And I think that we should show them what we, I think the only thing, that, like the statement we can make is, if we were to become blood brothers. I'll, um... The good people over in Switzerland, Davey, <laughs> were nice enough. Now, you, uh, I tell you what, I, I'm all for this. I think yeah. this is a marvelous gesture. You go ahead, and I'll... Okay. Um, uh, Dan felt that he should be here, too, but he couldn't make it. Um, mm. He just figured, why should I show up on that 
on a show. That's right. So, but he did send some of his bloods here. So we can all get in on this. It'll be the three of us, uh -huh. and uh, that'll be that. Well, no, 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 you, no, not there. Don't do that. Where should I do it? Here? Uh, yeah, do it on your finger. Do we have a, a needle or something? I'm not. Well, don't do that. Oh. Wait a minute. This isn't your fight. Stay up. Yeah, this is making everybody sick, Bill. I don't. Oh, don't. No, this is not a roast. You don't. No, here. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't. I can't do this. Uh, no, stop it. You're just drawing on it anyway. What is this? One of those rubber deals? Uh, needle we had. No, wait a minute. Just. No, no, no. Well, it's pink. You know, uh, I have a mosquito bite that hasn't healed. I thought yeah. that up, we'd be all right. How I'm much time do we have? Do you don't myself. stop hammering on yourself. Oh, I thought it was. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't. Please, please. Now just get a hold of yourself. Let me get, let me get a needle. Let's see if this is any, any better. Here. Do we have to go through with this? Ah. Well, see, it's hard. Well, I may need a checkup. I. Ouch! Damn. Oh, here we go. Whoa. All right. Thank you. I got it too. All right. All right. Now let's. This, of course, is actual blood and a little ketchup. There we go. <laughs> oh boy, that's great. That's great. That's, that gives me a real spiritual boost. Oh. That's marvelous. I'm eight miles high. You know, I have fun on this show every time I come on this show. Paul, do you know every time? Yeah. Every time it rains. Pennies from heaven. Yeah. I love looking at that. That's great. <laughs> oh, what a kick. All right, the movie is opening a week from Friday. What's yeah, after that? You movie. got another movie coming out. Oh, so yeah, I did that. another movie called The Razor's Edge. comes out in October. Now, are you gonna come, are you coming back for that one, or is this it? Huh? Are you going to be able I'll to be, come back for that I'll one? I'll be able to come back. This will this will heal right up. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Bill, congratulations again. I know it's going to be a, a big hit for you. Oh, what? I, well, let's finish about the movie. What have you been doing, man? I have a show every night. I'm here most every night. I have a long commute every day. I make the commute twice a day. Michigan. I have to go to Michigan every night. Uh, we got to go for station identification. Bill, nice to see you again. It was nice to be here, Dave. Thank you very much, sir. What about the Tina Turner, folks? Mm -hmm.